Happy New Year everybody. It's January 1st, 2011. Today we're going to be smoking a 7.5 pound pork butt and along with that we're going to be throwing in two racks of baby back ribs. We're going to be using a dry rub today that was uh, found on AmazingRibs.com, a site run by Craig Goldwyn, uh, also known as Meathead. And in addition to the uh, Memphis Dust dry rub, we're going to be using a pork injection that uh, is courtesy of Chris Lilly of Big Bob Gibson's. And uh, we've used it before in a previous video, and we really like uh, the flavor that it adds to the pork. The basic pre cook method that I use to prepare the pork butt is uh, we inject it first in a uh, checkerboard pattern on both sides of the pork butt. Then we apply a layer of mustard on the outside surface of the pork butt. Then we apply the rub. The mustard really helps the rub adhere to the uh, meat and uh, as you can see in this photo and after about six hours of marinating wrapped in cellophane in the refrigerator this uh, pork butt is ready to go into the smoker and uh, on the baby backs basically after removing the membrane we apply that layer of mustard again to help the rub adhere to the surface of both sides of the ribs then we covered these in plastic wrap and put them in the refrigerator while the pork butt got a head start on it by you know, two hours or so. The temperature outside as you can see at nine degrees with a 15 below wind chill was pretty cold and this is definitely something that's going to affect the smoker and uh, the temperatures that it's going to be able to uh, achieve with that wind chill so we're going to have to keep an eye on that really closely okay the pork butt's been in the smoker for two hours now and the temperature we've been able to get it up to 245 which is kind of a good target we hope to be able to hold that and the ribs are ready to go in now that both meats are in the smoker we've got a basic plan of attack for each the strategy for the ribs is to follow the basic 3-2-1 method where we're going to keep them in the smoker for three hours at about 240-245 and once we uh, hit that three hour mark we're going to wrap them in foil I'm going to try something new I'm going to add uh, about two or three tablespoons of apple juice in with the ribs uh, close that up real tight and put them back into the smoker for two hours after that two hours then we're going to unwrap them and put them back to finish them off in the smoker for one final hour. This is what the ribs looked like after being in the smoker for three hours. We're going to go ahead and sauce one of the racks um, as I like the ribs with sauce. We're going to leave the other rack without sauce because uh, we've got some people that like them uh, with just the dry rub. And here's a look at the finished product. These ribs look beautiful. They tasted great. The only knock on them would be that maybe they were a little too tender as the meat just pulled totally cleanly away from the bone. Not much resistance. Uh, good smoke flavor, good smoke ring. Um, I may cut back on the amount of time I cook these when they're wrapped in foil. Now the pork butt was pretty simple. Just put it in the cooker, let it go um, until the internal temperature reached 165. Then we wrapped it in foil put it back in the cooker until the temperature got to 200 and then we let it rest for about an hour before we uh, unwrapped it. Uh, first thing I did was pull the bone. It pulled clean out. It's, this was probably the most tender juicy pork butt that I have made uh, to date. The pulling was effortless. Um, it looked great and it tasted awesome. We have enough of the pulled pork where we're going to vacuum pack about half of it, put it in the freezer, and the rest we're going to use and enjoy uh, some pulled pork sandwiches over the next couple of days. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, we want to wish you a happy new year. We also want to encourage you to take a look at smokeandgrill.com. 
if you're looking to uh, make a purchase of something barbecue or smoker related check out our shopping page and uh, you'll see some great deals on a lot of great products there again that's smokeandgrill.com and uh, we will see you next time <music>